Welcome back to What Otty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Waffen Traeger Alpha Panzer Thea, the Waffen Traeger Alpha Panzer IV. It's uh, basically a very, very big uh, gun on a very small tank. It's, <laughs> it's the Tier 9 German tank destroyer and it's located on the north spawn of Empire's border under the command of Grip Madness 123 and Battle Started. Okay, well, very big gun, very small tank, very low armor, but very big punishment for the enemy if they get hit by this gun. Now, he's actually carrying the 150 millimeter gun, which is the top gun, uh, capable of 750 alpha, huge gun. Now, it does take a long time to load, 15 seconds, but it's the amount of punishment that does the enemy when it hits the target. Right, and it's gone into the valley, rather than going around the outside. And he's being very careful not to knock things down to avoid the chance that one will uh, shoot him. The armour on this uh, weapon, uh, this Panzer Pier, which is Panzer IV chassis, which has actually been modified. It's got extra bogies on the, the um, extra wheels on it. And when you tend to fight this thing, you tend to fight it rear end forward, so to speak. And uh, the reason for that, obviously, is that you want to only present the smallest target to the enemy. So you only want to stick the gun out, which is actually mounted mostly at the rear of the vehicle. And also, you want to make a quick getaway if the enemy does spot you. So you sort of like try and point your vehicle in the direction of where you want to run the moment you get spotted. And it really does help to have six cents in this vehicle really does help. Well, he's nosing forward, front end forward, which is not the best way of doing it, because the front end sticks out quite a bit. And the enemy does have a Scorpion G up there. And that's a premium tier 8 tank destroyer. moving up even higher. The worry here is obviously get spotted by somebody across the valley, a light tank or whatever, and then you really do suffer as a result. Well, the Scorpion G's just been ammo racked, and he's gone up, and it looks like we're going to go for the, uh, the gateway. Bring up the mini-map a little bit more so we can see what's going on. The enemy's actually gone through this pass and he's going to attack you from behind. Now this is going to be interesting to see how the enemy reacts when they suddenly realise, oops, we've got somebody behind us, we're in a crossfire. And the gun depression is not so good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. GV is no more. 526, remember what I said, 15 seconds to reload. That IS is very low on hit points. And he just turned around and presented his rear, and as Klaus Kellerman said, well, they shit him up the ass. Now, he's going to have to hide behind this rock for the moment. He is loaded, but he doesn't want to expose himself when he raises here. Okay, so T30, that's got a big 155mm gun. We'll go around into that. Yep. So low roll, though, 733, and he actually did it nose forward again. <laughs> And T-30 is gone. Well, the two tanks are ahead of the enemy at the moment. And most of the enemy is actually in the southwest corner. So they've been trapped. Oh, now, there's some we don't want to see. Well, it's an RT. GW Tiger. Let's hope he's not good at top gunning. Nope, he's not anymore. Somewhere around this corner is another enemy. We're loaded. Ready to go. And... <laughs> T-43, gone. Ouch. Now, that 53 TP knew we were coming. We don't want to expose ourselves any longer than we have to because he's got a better reload than we have. And ouch. We weren't fully around the corner and he managed to go around through that gun shield. Now, Scorpion G and the Emil are going to help us. 
Stone Mill's not the fastest of tank destroyers. Waiting for that T29 to come around. Here he comes. Hello. 785, the high roll. Now, if we can get a reload in. Okay. Oh, no, he's gone. So, if we're going to move up on that 53 TP, our Scorpion G didn't fare so well. He lost a lot of his hit points to that 53 TP. Here we go. Well, we didn't get our shot off. We took one for 321. I'm sure 53 TP is going to try again. And that didn't work at all. It didn't pen. And now the 53 TP, well, gets a free shot at us there. And we're now down to just 282. We don't want him to do that to us again, but we are loading. And bye-bye. And that's the end of the game. Oh, nasty words in chat. <laughs> I don't think he was too happy about that. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Oh, he's got his first mark of excellence on that game uh, in the Waffentrager Alpha Panzer Fia. He also got a first class tanker, a fighter badge, a uh, fire for effect. And he also picked up the high caliber. Uh, very nice indeed. He did the most damage in that battle. And you can see why you can do damage in that gun. It's absolutely monstrous what it does. Look at the uh, um, the figures there. 3,956 hit points of damage. The next highest score was the 53 TP. He got 3681. If he'd actually got one more shot in, he would have taken Grit Madness out of the game. And of course, he would have picked up the high caliber as well to bargain. Uh, so he just didn't have a fast enough reload to get that next shot in before Grit Madness could put him out. Um, so when it came to um, the uh, kills, uh, he got, managed to get four kills. Uh, so did Lorraine 40T. So they got the high score. Uh, then when it came to base XP, uh, he also managed to get 994. The next high score of the only with 989 and the T49 with 775. He fired seven shots. He got seven direct hits, but only six penetrations. One of those shots on the 53 TP didn't pen. Uh, he did damage of 3,953 hit points. Uh, sorry, 3,956 hit points and received four hits from the enemy, four pens, all of them from the 53 TP. He received um, one hit as a result of splash damage as well, spotted one enemy vehicle, damaged 60 the enemy, killed four of them, and did 895 hit points of damage assistance. On a standard account, he earned 37,780 credits, and after repair ammunition resupply, he took away 16,693 credits. He received 994 XP, base XP, and uh, there was no multiplier, so I'm afraid that's all he took away. But you can see how effective the Waffentrager Alpha Panzer Fear can be, but you also saw how vulnerable it can be as well. Uh, really, there is no armor, so to speak. So if you get into a confrontation with an enemy tank like the 53 TP and he uses ridge lines against you in order to uh, make sure that uh, you can't shoot at any weak spots, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So best thing to do, take out the enemy from a long distance away. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.